ChatGPT Vision is easily one of the best features that ChatGPT has to offer, but it's often overlooked and people aren't using it in the right way. That's why I'm here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT Vision to its full potential. ChatGPT Vision allows you to upload an image to ChatGPT, and with that image, you can do things like diagnose issues, get solutions, get styling advice, get detailed descriptions, and really transfer things from the real world to your ChatGPT chat thread. And this is super powerful because it combines ChatGPT with real life use cases. And not only that, but you can even take a screenshot online and get amazing advice from ChatGPT there as well. Now, there are multiple other things you can do with this feature aside from what I mentioned. And when you start combining different features of ChatGPT with this, it becomes very powerful. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into it, I wanted to show you my ChatGPT mastery course because within this course, we go much deeper into features like ChatGPT Vision. And right now you're looking at the community aspect of this program and it's all in the same platform. That way, if you have a question about a module, all you have to do is switch tabs, come to the community, ask your question and get help from the community. We have over 400 members now and the group is continuing to grow. And when more people join, the group gets more powerful. We can start long threads about certain features within ChatGPT and just staying on top of ChatGPT and the AI revolution as a group is very powerful. As you can see within the course, I have 45 plus modules that I'm updating with new ChatGPT features as they roll out. And when it comes to ChatGPT vision, as you can see, I dive into each one of the things that I'm going to be showing you in this video a lot more in depth. And you're going to be able to learn through these private modules that I'm not uploading anywhere else. If my ChatGPT mastery course is something that interests you, I will leave a link to join in the description or the top pinned comment. Now let's get back into the video. So in order to activate ChatGPT Vision, what you need to do is you just need to go up to your model selector and have GPT-4 activated. Once you have GPT-4 activated, as you can see, you'll have a link button in the bottom left-hand corner of your prompt bar that you will be able to upload images to ChatGPT with. And you can do the same on your phone. If you're on the go, you can even take a picture of something in ChatGPT and it will use that picture with ChatGPT Vision. And you can have a conversation about the contents of the image. The first thing that ChatGPT Vision is amazing at is diagnosing issues with ChatGPT. So whether you're on the go and you wanna take a picture of something you're dealing with and get the issue diagnosed, or you have something you're dealing with online, it can be great for both use cases. Let me show you a quick couple of examples. So I'm going to hit this little link button in the bottom left-hand corner of my prompt bar, and then I can upload an image from my desktop. This first example I'm going to show you is of a broken phone. As you can see, when I click in the image, this is a phone that is quite broken. And this is a very basic example, but I just wanna show you that ChatGPT has the ability to see the image and diagnose all issues with the phone. And now I can tell it to diagnose the issues with this phone. That's all I have to say is diagnose the issues. And when I send off that message, ChatGPT Vision will read the image and then it will have a conversation with you about that image and diagnose the problems. And in a way, I feel like ChatGPT can sometimes see these images more clear than I can. It picks up on things that I missed. As you can see, it says the phone in the image appears to have a severely cracked screen, which is the most noticeable issue. The cracks cover a significant portion of the display, likely affecting the touch screen functionality and visibility of the screen's content. So as you can see, it completely diagnosed this problem and even gave a little bit more in detail on what other problems that this initial problem that it can see might be causing. So this is a great in-person example. You can do this with things like dying trees, dying plants. Uh, if you see something weird going on with your plant or something, take a picture, upload it to ChatGPT and ask it. Ask it what it may be, what, what, what may be happening to my plant based on this picture. That's just an example, but you can do things when you're trying to hook up a computer to something, take an image of what you're dealing with. It can help diagnose the problems that you're having as long as you provide proper context. Let's take a look at an online example. So maybe I can have ChatGPT diagnose the issues of my website uh, when it comes to styling. Is there anything that I'm doing wrong that could attract more customers? Had I had it switched? Well, let's take a look. I can hit that link icon again, and then I can upload a screenshot of my AI store on my website. So as you can see, I just have an AI store here with a few of my products in the screenshot, and I can ask ChatGBT to diagnose any styling issues with this website. And you can be specific about this. You don't just have to tell ChatGBT, diagnose my issues, but you can be specific about what issues do you want it to diagnose. So I tell it to diagnose styling, text, color, and any other issues with my shop page on my website. And as you can see, I have that image uploaded into ChatGPT, so I can send off that prompt. And as you can see in about 10 seconds, it completely tears apart my shop page. It says button visibility, the add to cart button should stand out more. As you can see, my add to cart button is very small in the bottom right hand corner, so maybe I should change that. 
Text clarity, the text should be easy to read. Spacing and alignment, check the spacing between elements for consistency. Make sure that I have a responsive design. It's going through everything based on this picture, telling me what to improve and how I can help increase conversions. I could even go one step further and tell it what my add to cart conversion is based on website visitors and get tips in order to improve it even more. So I can start implementing these things, split testing different ideas that ChatGPT has. And this is a good way that you can use it online. So I showed you an in-person example for diagnosing issues and a way that you can diagnose issues on the internet. The next thing that ChatGPT Vision is amazing at is actually providing solutions. So I told you and I showed you that it can diagnose the issues, but just because you have the issues diagnosed, what next? Well, remember we are in ChatGPT and ChatGPT is amazing at providing good solutions. So we can use some of the techniques that we've learned in past videos that we know about prompting and getting good results for solution oriented things. And we can apply that after ChatGPT Vision has run its diagnosis on our current problem. So let's go back to the two examples that I just showed you for diagnosing issues. Let's actually get good step-by-step -step solutions by providing an engineered prompt to ChatGPT. So let's take a look at this first example. And this is a pretty basic one. You know, you don't really need to know what to do in order to fix a phone screen. You take it into a phone place and you get it fixed. But I just wanted to show you that with a prompt, ChatGPT can provide solutions and keep on going in the same chat thread with those images. So I can say, provide me a step-by-step solution in order to fix this problem. Now, since this is a very basic problem, all I really need is a basic prompt. All I need is a step-by-step -step solution. That way I can show you how ChatGPT can actually give you the solution. This example is very light, but when we dive into my online store example, as you will see, I can add a more advanced prompt and get a more detailed plan. But first, let's just send this off and watch ChatGPT go to work. As you can see, ChatGPT went above and beyond and it kind of exceeded my expectations. It says what you'll need, and this is actually a guide for how to do it yourself. And it gives an eight step list of supplies that you're going to need. Then it gives a step-by-step -step guide, ensuring that you do this in the correct way. And it also gives tips at the end here. That way you can replace this phone screen yourself and do it in the best manner possible. So it actually did a very nice job, better than what I expected. But now again, let's take a look at this example where I got my issues diagnosed for my shop page on my website. Now it gave me some issues with my website and my shop page, but how can I actually put that into a step-by-step -step list and get a very custom tailored solution for my need? Well, there's a couple things I'm going to do. First, I'm going to apply custom instructions into this. That way I can ensure that I'm getting a tailored response. And when those custom instructions are activated, I'm then going to type out an engineered prompt. That way ChatGPT can provide me an exact solution to my current diagnosis. So applying the custom instructions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my 300 custom personas that I've built for ChatGPT. And these custom personas just allow you to form ChatGPT into an expert in any profession. And I've done this by creating 10 categories with 30 professions in each category. We have marketing, business, writing, finance, technology, and so on. So I'm going to go back over to ChatGPT and open up my sidebar. I'm going to go down to my account, and then I'm going to select customize ChatGPT. And now we have two boxes here that we can edit. And these are called the custom instructions. And the first box asks you, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you in order to provide better responses? And the second box asks, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So we have the ability to turn ChatGPT into a professional of any field in order to get us a tailored, more thought out solution to the problem that we're dealing with. So I might go back to my 300 custom personas database and I might select in the marketing category, customer experience designer. So this is going to make the customer experience of my website much better than if I were just to use the regular version of ChatGPT. And I have a demo video on this product if you want to watch it on my website. And if you want to access this product, I'll leave a link in the description or the top pinned comment and you'll get access to these 300 custom personas. But what I have here is I have these two boxes already filled out for us and it's like that for all 299 other personas as well. So all we need to do is copy and paste these instructions into ChatGPT. So the first box, I'm going to select this copy to clipboard button in the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to head back over to ChatGPT and paste it in. Now ChatGPT is taking on that profession or that role of a customer experience designer. And it has all of the key criteria listed beneath it that a customer experience designer might take on in its everyday work. Then I'm going to head back over to my 300 personas database and copy down the second box and I'm going to head back over. And so now ChatGPT, after I paste that in, 
isn't only taking on that role, but it's also going to be responding like that role as well. And I have a ton of key criteria in here being taken into account for these custom instructions. Now I can hit save. And that was not a necessary step that you had to take, but in my opinion, the responses are much more tailored to your situation. And it kind of frames ChatGPT's thinking in another way in order to give you more thought out step-by-step -step guides and problem solving techniques. But now we can start typing out the prompt. And what I'm going to do for this prompt is I'm going to use a GCA prompt sequence framework. That might sound very confusing, but it's an acronym based prompt that I can use the G stands for goal, the C stands for context, and the A stands for action. So I can provide ChatGPT first my overall goal, and then I can provide it context of how the website's currently performing. And then I can give it an action in order to help me make the website perform better based on this image that I've uploaded with ChatGPT Vision. So we have the first part of the GCA prompt sequence all finished. I want to increase add to cart conversions on my website. So based on this picture, I want to create a prompt that's going to help me get more add to carts within my website because that's the first step in the purchase sequence. So this is the first part of my prompt. I have the G in the GCA sequence. Now we need to add the C, which is context. And for this context, I'm going to be using arbitrary numbers, not actual numbers from my website. So now I'm providing context for my situation and also what I want in the future. This can kind of be tied into the goal aspect as well. But what I'm doing right now is I'm providing arbitrary stats. So these aren't real stats, but I'm providing ChatGPT that information. I say I currently have around 400 website visitors per day and I get an average of 20 add to carts per day. But I want to increase that number to 40 add to carts per day with the same amount of visitors. So I'm currently at a 5% add to cart ratio for website videos, let's just say, and I want to increase that to 10%. Then I can give ChatGPT the action. What do I need ChatGPT to do in order to help me with this? What do I want out of ChatGPT? Based on the uploaded image, give me a step-by-step -step list of things to change or solutions to implement in order to achieve this. So now I have an engineered prompt. I have my goal, I have proper context, and I have one action that I want ChatGPT to do. When you start adding multiple actions, ChatGPT will give less energy and less thought into each action that you have in a prompt. So canceling out multiple actions and splitting tasks in ChatGPT is an easy way to engineer your prompt and get a better output. We have this one action. Give me a step-by-step -step list of things to change or implement uh, in order to achieve these add to carts that I want on my website. And remember, now we have the custom instructions activated and these instructions are geared towards ChatGPT becoming a customer experience designer. So this is going to allow ChatGPT to hop in that role and respond like that role as well. And once we send off this message, as you will see, ChatGPT is going to give us a very in-depth tailored solution. And it's going to be different from the average ChatGPT responses. And based on this image, it gave me some advice that is directly tailored towards the contents that I uploaded but it also gave me some general advice on things I should implement in my website, regardless of if the image was even here or not. Let me show you that. As I scroll down, as you can see, it gives these nice big headings and it's thinking like a customer experience designer now. It says, ensure each product has a clear, concise, compelling description. That's pretty obvious, but where it starts to actually implement some of the elements from the image is when it tells me to improve my call to actions. It tells me, make the add to cart button more prominent with a contrasting color because right now my add to cart buttons are this off white and they're very small down in the bottom right hand corner. Let's see what else it says about my call to action buttons. It tells me to change the text to something more compelling like get yours now or claim your copy rather than just add to cart. And then it says to increase the size of the buttons and place them where they are immediately visible without scrolling. So that all makes sense. And this is all advice taken directly from ChatGPT, looking at that image and telling me what I need to improve. And it gives me all of these tips in a nice format with ChatGPT in the shoes of that customer experience designer. So this is a way you can use ChatGPT to completely transform your entire experience. Another amazing thing that you can do with ChatGPT Vision is you can actually transfer elements handwritten elements into diagrams within ChatGPT. So as you can see, I've drawn out this content workflow and it's reversed right now, so you probably can't read it. But what I can actually do right now is I can take a picture with my phone, which I will do, and I can upload it to ChatGPT. I'm taking a picture of this now, and now I'm going to email it to myself, upload it to ChatGPT, and actually get a generated diagram from ChatGPT after uploading an image. I can say create a diagram out of this image with the use of a GPT. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What you need to do is you need to open up your sidebar and then hit explore GPTs. 
And within Explore GPTs, what you want to use is the Whimsical Diagrams GPT. And right now it's featured in the top picks from this week, but you can also type it in up here. If you just type in Whimsical Diagrams, it will come up as the top one with that purple logo. When I select it, I can hit Start Chat at the bottom of this page here. And now I'm in a Whimsical Diagrams chat thread. And this is going to allow me to create flowcharts, diagrams, and mind maps, or even sequences within ChatGPT. And it's also going to give me a link to that so I can view it and I can edit it. It's a very cool plugin and GPT, and that is why I use it for things like this. And you can also generate diagrams out of thin air as well. You don't need what I have, a screenshot of a paper drawn image or whatever it is. You can just generate diagrams as you want. But this is a nice example because if you're someone like me, you like using paper and pencil to write, jot down your ideas, kind of graph out things, you know? So implementing it into ChatGPT and getting an online version without having to create it yourself is very nice. I'm going to hit this little link icon in the bottom left-hand corner, and then I'm going to upload that image that I emailed to myself that I took on this video. And as you can see, the image is uploaded and I have a little content workflow. Um, this is something I just quickly jotted down as an example. So we have like long form YouTube content that goes to LinkedIn posts, then to shorts, then to Twitter. And from the Twitter and LinkedIn content, that goes to a newsletter and then the offer within the newsletter. So a quick workflow. And I can tell ChatGPT in this Whimsical Diagrams GPT to create a diagram exactly like the one in this image. And then I can send it off. And within a few seconds, Whimsical is going to whip this up into an online version. So you can have your workflow go from paper to pencil all the way to a digital copy like this. It also gives you a link that you can view and edit this diagram in the third party app Whimsical. And what you can do here is you can change the color of certain things. So if you want that to be a big header, you can make these boxes bigger and you can kind of manipulate this in the way you want. So maybe I don't want shorts going into the newsletter. What I could do is I could just delete that arrow real quick. And now we have the exact workflow that I typed out. And remember, you can go in here and you can change the colors of things if it helps you remember certain things better. And this is just a great learning technique with ChatGPT. And not only that, but it helps you give digital versions of your paper rough drafts. And if it's a very rough draft, you can have ChatGPT refine it before it puts it into this diagram. Now, these have just been a few of the many ways that you can use ChatGPT Vision within ChatGPT. If you want to go even more in depth, I highly recommend purchasing my ChatGPT Mastery course where I actually go in person with the camera and I show you real life examples and how you can use this in your everyday life on mobile or when you can take pictures on mobile, upload it to your desktop and use it later. If you enjoyed this video, I'd highly appreciate it if you can like it, subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And also comment below letting me know what are you using ChatGPT Vision for and how do you think the future of this technology will help humanity? With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.